Eating healthy can be expensive for a lot of people, but it doesn't really have to be. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a kind of a healthy eating vlog today. And we're gonna point out the uh, differences in prices. And it's especially with the packaged foods and frozen food items. You know, I look at all these healthy packaged items. You know, packaged items are, are, uh, are interesting because they have a lot of uh, screen real estate, so to say. They have packaging to write stuff on, like, and they can use all their buzzwords and healthy and organic and sustainable and, and whatever the low fat, low carb, low, um, you know, baked, not fried, all this other stuff. Uh, but when you look at the unit price or price per serving, price per ounce, um, it's always a, like profoundly more expensive than making the food yourself. I'll give you one example. This is, uh, we, we, we still haven't tried it yet. That's a future review. But there you have this real good um, pizzas and bites and chicken, uh, chicken pizzas. I, I have no idea what to expect. I have four items I'm going to try in the next month or so. They're in the freezer. It's the only good thing about frozen food. It's ready to go in like five minutes. Um, but... It was, uh, they had these little chicken pizzas and it was uh, seven bucks or so for like about half a pound, eight and a half ounces. So it came out to about $13 per pound. Um, and just so you know, I got almost seven pounds of delicious 80% uh, ground beef at Wegmans for around $16. So to get seven pounds of this uh, real good pizza, <clears throat> It would cost me over 90 bucks. Or to put it another way, for 90 bucks I can get 40 pounds of uh, red ground beef. And it's like, it's incredible. I mean, why would anybody, how it's so easy to make a burger, just form a burger and throw it on your pan. You don't even need to grill to do it. And it's just 10 times better, has more nutrients, has no preservatives, it ha it's just, it's great. So I guess the key takeaway here is to avoid frozen foods, even if it's healthy, at all costs. Um, your best bet is to buy in bulk, buy those family packs of meat, cook up some, like make a day of it. Cook up 10, 12 burgers with cheese on it and just, once they cool, freeze them. And then you can have a ready-to-go burger at any point in the future. It's, it becomes your fr freezer section. I don't know why people need this, these fancy products. Um, and the, and that, that's basically it. Um, you know, you can be healthy, but you don't have to do it in an expensive way. Just eat fresh food and keep, keep your ingredient list simple. And, th and I guess this is for the low-carb keto carnivore people, but I guess it gets harder when you need carbs and, uh, and all sorts of uh, interesting ingredients. Uh, I wish more people knew that you just eat, eat a, a blob of meat and you're, you don't even think about food at all. Thanks for watching and please uh, subscribe and hit the bell.